so much change happening in relation to digital and fintech. And also people say it's similar to a transition that happened 110, 120 years ago, which was a transition from the horse and carriage to the automobile. So I decided to have a deeper look at that transition, if there's any lessons that we could learn about what happened then. So if you look at the horse and carriage industry, in the 1800s, there were 24 million horses uh, operating in that industry around the United States. And things changed in 1897, when the first gas-powered automobile was invented. In 1900, the first showroom opened in New York City. And it, but it did then take about 17 to 20 years for the transition to fully replace the horse and carriage industry. Now, that's quite a long period of time. So what delayed the transition? What stopped the transition? Well, there was regulations. There were laws around how fast the car could go to the extent that people with red flags had to run next to the car as they were driving along the high street. Also, the roads weren't really built for cars. They were built for horses. So it took a long time for people to really adopt the automobile. And the same could be said for digital and fintech at the moment. There's many regulations that impact the use of cloud, customer data, etc., that will need to evolve over time. And also there's many things to do with the infrastructure around the highways uh, that are being built to support a more digital um, age that we're living in. So I also thought to myself, who are the winners and losers? So the losers, of course, were people who made hay, for example, for the horses. And also the winners were those people that made the parts for the automobile. But clearly, many people didn't survive this transition between those two industries.